So you want to create consistent characters like these? Well, I got you covered because in this video, I'm going to show you two methods of getting your exact character in different poses and expressions. So the first method I used is when I typed in my prompt here, I made sure that I included multiple poses and expression. My prompt was small cat, multiple poses and expression, children's book illustration style, detailed, rich green coat with hood, black hair, flat color, white plain background, and you want to make sure that you add dash dash no outline at the end of the prompt. This will make sure that the colors of the character will maintain the same. Now it generated me these four variation, which I wasn't very happy with. So I went ahead and regenerated the variation. As you can see, it gave me these new four ones. So I really liked how this one looked. So I went ahead and upscaled it. As you can see, here are five different poses of the same character and the same colors. So basically same everything. The only different thing is the poses of the cat. Let's say we want to change our character. We're gonna keep the same prompt, but we're gonna change the first indicator, the first keyword of the prompt. For example, I changed the small cat with a young character. And then we're gonna keep the multiple poses and expression. There is book illustration style, detailed, cute. Let's say green coat. Let's change the coat, for example. Let's say green hoodie. Let's say black hoodie. Black hair, flat color, white plain background, no outline. And you wanna make sure that you include no outline here. So it's just a matter of keywords that we include in our prompt. As you can see, here is my character. Here are four different variations of the young boy. Here you can see that the boy is angry. It is a variation of the angry boy. Here it is a six different variation of a sad boy. Here he looks angry too. And you can see here, depending on your needs, you're gonna select the variation that suits you the best. You could play with the prompt until you get the desired character. So after upscaling the version that we want, we're gonna save it to our computer. We're gonna go to this website, let's enhance.io, and we're gonna upscale our image by four times. We're gonna drag our image here. As you can see, the resolution of our image is 606 by 606 pixels, and the size is a half megapixel. The output is gonna be 1212 by 1212 pixels. Here, we're gonna select digital art and gonna start processing. Okay, so our image is done processing. We're gonna download it. After upscaling and downloading our variation, we're gonna use this free online editor to select each character and upload it to Midjourney. Bring your variation here. Then, you're gonna select the rectangle, select here, then click here. Then, what we're gonna do is select each character alone and upload it to Midjourney. So after uploading each image to Midjourney, we're gonna type in Imagine, then we're gonna grab the link from each image, copy link, and paste it here. Then we're gonna do the same for this. Then what we're gonna do is grab the original prompt that we used to generate these variations, copy it, and paste it here. And here we can control the expressions by changing these multiple poses and expression, any expression that we want. For example, we want the cat to be angry. And as you can see, it generated four different poses of the angry cat sitting. And here is another one that we got. Also, what we can do is grab this prompt that Midjourney has generated for us. Gonna type in Imagine, then we're gonna paste it here. Then we're gonna use this new prompt over and over again to generate different expressions and poses. For example, this time let's change Angry by Happy. And let's see the result. So this is a very cool way to generate a URL referencing from just copying and pasting image links. The second method is kind of similar to the first one. But this time, we will introduce the seed number. And you might be wondering, what is a seed number? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, using the same prompt, plus seed, plus parameters in Midjourney 4 will produce identical images. Which means that if no seed is specified, Midjourney will use a randomly generated seed number, producing a wide variety of options each time a prompt is used. For example, without the seed number, Midjourney generated three different variations each time, even with the same prompt. And this time, by introducing the seed number, Midjourney has generated similar variations when we used the prompt two times. So how does it work? I wrote down my prompt, John Baker, young six-year-old boy, black hair, wearing a green hoodie, green eyes, picture style illustration. As you can see, this time I introduced the character name, which might help in getting similar looking character. This time I removed multiple poses and expression from my prompt. And as you can see, Midjourney has generated four different images, not like the previous one. And this time what we're gonna do is upscale the image that we like. For example, I really like the image 2. So we're gonna click on upscale 2. So our image is upscaled. Now what we're gonna do is just like the previous method, this is our image. We're gonna 
grab the link so copy the link because we are gonna use it as a reference url to generate this exact character in different poses and expressions so after grabbing the link we're gonna go here and we're gonna type in imagine then we're gonna paste the link here after that we're gonna we're gonna grab the our original prompt and we're gonna paste it here now we need the seed number so how to get the scene number we're gonna go to reaction here add a reaction then we're gonna search for the envelope emoji so we're gonna click here as you can see mid journey has generated the seed number for this image now we're gonna grab this seed number we're gonna copy it and go back here then we're gonna add dash dash seed then paste the seed number here and finally we can change the prompt get the same character in different poses and different expressions for example i will add playing with a toy let's say playing with a car Boy. now we're gonna wait for the results so it's generating our image as you can see here's our boy here's our boy playing with toy so let's try and get different expressions so this time instead of playing with a car toy i'm gonna change the prompt to holding a book let's see the results boom our image is done generating as you can see here's our character holding a book here he seems angry more angry here he looks directed to the camera here the book is closed and here the book is opened so we can really mess around with the prompt to get exactly the expressions that you are looking for now you can upscale your favorite one from this one and the fa your favorite one from this one so you can change your prompt over and over again and get different expressions then upscale the best image from those variations so on so forth till you get your collection of the same character in multiple poses and expressions and use them later on and if you notice the quality of the pictures are not that good Good. what we can do is use a free online tool that can upscale this image up to four times make the quality really really good upload your photo to upscale media the website that we used before as you can see there is a difference between the upscaled and the original image you can also enhance the quality by turning this option on you can clearly see the difference between the two images so this is the original image and this is the upscaled image and this is a side-by-side -side comparison. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you have some questions, leave them down below. Also, subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos just like this one. See you in the next one.